we have CN negative ions which are the nitrile ions and what we do and and this carbon atom this carbon atom has a lone pair of electrons so it can give away its lone pair of electrons so what happens is that because this oxygen is a lot more electronegative than this carbon it tries to pull the electrons towards itself which gives it which gives it a partial negative charge and gives this carbon a pos partial positive charge because the bond is polar now what happens is that this lone pair because the carbon has a partial positive charge it can accept electrons so this nitrile group it attacks this carbon atom so what happens is that we get something like this the nitrile group attached here and the oxygen has a negative charge on it now it has taken both these electrons and it has a negative charge on it so now what happens is that this uh, so if you if you see that we have hcn so obviously hcn breaks to form h plus and cn negative so we already have an h plus left so this negative so because this oxygen has a negative charge it attacks this h plus ion you remember that the curly arrows show the movement of electron pairs so because they show the movement of electron pairs you cannot show a h plus ion attacking the o negative but rather you have to show the uh, the o negative ion uh, attacking the h plus ion so what you get is this so this is the compound you get in this reaction and this group th this is called a hydroxy nitrile it's called a hydroxy nitrile because it has a hydroxyl group which is the alcohol group and it has a nitrile group so it's called a hydroxy nitrile these compounds are called hydroxy nitriles now why do we use nacn so nacn just acts as a catalyst in this reaction because it can pro provide the cn negative nucleophiles so it acts as a catalyst in this reaction so this is the nucleophilic addition uh, mechanism because you have added a nucleophile and it's an addition reaction because you have not you have not substituted anything you have not eliminated anything you have simply added something so uh, this is the nucleophilic addition mechanism now let's take a particular example let's say we are doing this nucleophilic addition on propenone so let's take propenone ch3 ch3 sorry about that and this oxygen electronegative so delta negative charge delta positive charge then cn negative will and this is the first step in the first step there is an attack from the cn negative on the partially positive carbon atom which gives us the intermediate the intermediate which is the ch3 will remain the same and this will become o negative it will take both the electrons from the bond and the carbon will instead form a bond with the nitrile group now this o negative it attacks an h plus ion because it has an extra charge it has an extra it, it has a lone pair so it can attack the h plus ion and as it attacks the h plus ion we get this compound So we, what we get is this. So we have uh, in now the ketone. If we, uh, after this nucleophilic addition, the ketone has transformed into uh, in, in, into an uh, into uh, uh, into something which has a nitrile group and an OH group, which is hydroxy nitrile. Now, actually, um, an interesting thing is that the reduction of these you do not need to know this but i'm just telling but they they sometimes ask this in questions so actually the reduction of aldehydes and ketone uh, ketones works on the principles of nucleophilic addition so uh, actually what happens is let's just erase all of this so let's start with the typical with the typical propenone molecule and i'll show you how the reduction reaction happens so this is a typical propenone molecule and again 
because this electron is ele uh, this oxygen is electronegative it will pull the electrons towards itself giving the oxygen a partial negative charge and the